Alright guys, in this tutorial, what we're going to talk about is in reference to cutting out a subject that's in focus and you can see the background. It's kind of blurry doing this thing there already and we want to kind of make sure that we get our subject to do what we want with our subject. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just go straight over here to the select menu and you can see right here within the select menu we have the focus area, a new area right here within Photoshop. So before I even do that, what I want to do is I want to create a new layer and I want to go ahead and convert this to a smart object so I'm going to go back to select here I'll go back to the focus area and immediately as soon as I open it up you will notice that Photoshop will start to do its thing you see the little pinwheel right here starting to spin and it's doing its thing right there and right here under my view I have the overlay view in reference to what I want to see there in reference to which Photoshop's going to select and the way I'm going to output it here so what I can also do is I can come right over here to end focus range it's at 3.35 you always want to kind of set yourself a benchmark in reference to where it was and you can see when I just slid it to the right there a little bit this is going to cut the grass area and this is a piece right in there missing there I can just go ahead and hit the minus key right there and I could just touch inside there and just drag just a little bit and Photoshop starts to go back to work for me to kind of find everything that's really similar to that area right there so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna say output to a layer mask output to layer with layer mask right there let Photoshop finish doing this thing and you can see there that it did what it was supposed to do and it kinda caught her sleeve right there but I'm not really gonna worry about that right now for this tutorial not necessarily trying to get absolutely perfect here so what we have going on here as I turn off my background layer you can see what Photoshop has you know selected there and removed that there for me now right here I have a duplicate layer that I can always go back to but I'm gonna keep that layer off right there and now what I'm going to do is I can come right over here I can double click this right over in here I can do any type of thing that I desire. I can come in here and I can put some edits inside of here as well. I can do whatever I want to do to make that background kind of do whatever I desire to do in reference to cutting out my subject really quickly, really easily. And that's what it's all about, getting a really fast, quick workflow within Photoshop to make sure that you keep moving and you're very effective anytime you're inside the program to do what you need to do. Make sure you subscribe and stay tuned. We got a lot more tutorials coming. Thank you and have a great day.